Here's a straw bale and here's our straw chopper which is a pretty funky old wood chipper. So when we put the straw through it comes out like this and that becomes our base uh, ingredient for all of our base coat plasters. This has got the first coat of an earthen plaster which is just our clay soil mixed with chopped straw. Plaster really just means any kind of material that you put over the surface of the wall to protect it. This is what we call the base coat or the first coat. Typically we do two. We use almost exclusively earthen plasters. Sometimes lime base plasters, very occasionally gypsum, and never cement. Cement stucco isn't a good combination with earth or straw. It doesn't stick well and you tend to end up with a lot of moisture problems because it doesn't breathe. Cement stucco doesn't allow moisture that's inside the wall to make its way out. So this is the outside of the straw bale wall. For this wall, we've used uh, metal strapping applied over the surface of the bales for our shear system. The earth plaster doesn't want to stick to metal and it doesn't stick that well to wood. So whenever we're putting the earthen plaster over either metal or wood, we'll first coat those surfaces with the burlap to get substrate that the plaster is going to stick to easily. Over here you can see the plaster still drying that just went up a couple days ago. So this is slip and chip. It's just wood chips with the clay slip. We've used here a lath system. We've used a reed mat. Over that we've applied two coats of earthen plaster and you can see on the other side of this wall the finish coat which is a much finer and harder finish. Uh, than the one that you've seen with the base coat plasters in other places. So this is a mixture of clay soil, very fine sand, very, very finely chopped and screened straw, flour paste, cooked white flour, which makes the plaster harder and also more water resistant. 